What's up Chainsaw Shack? Brody here. I thought I'd give you guys an update about the channel. I'm sure some have concerns about different things. Some have had concerns about the Facebook group that I closed down and got rid of all the amends. Everybody's got questions why. I'll probably go ahead and answer some of that in this video. And I will say that uh, I'm not done with, nowhere near done being with chainsaws and being the Chainsaw Shack. I am the originator of the idea, the name, the group, all of it. Uh, even though I've been copied, the name has been copied over and over now repeatedly by people that got no thought of their own, they can't come up with their own ideas. Um, but anyway, I plan on doing more with the saws. I've been in between jobs where I was leaving one that was keeping me busy all week long where I had no time to do anything else as a delivery driver. The money was good, but I didn't like all the miles. Uh, I've got a new job where I work only Friday, Saturday, and Sunday now. I get 40 hours, paid for 40 for 36, and I make real good money, you know, for that hourly rate that I'm going to be working for. But uh, that leaves me with four days a week to do whatever I want. So guess what I'm going to be doing with that free time? Yeah, I'm going to be playing with more saws and probably buying some more saws and just doing the Brody thing, okay? Uh, I just give you a peep at this too. I've got different uh, vendors that talk to me and send me different stuff. And I've got HIPAA that's sent me a lot of stuff recently. I was already buying their stuff to begin with. I bought their carb tools to begin with because if you're working on a two-stroke chainsaw, small engine, uh, weed eater trimmer, hedge trimmer, anything with a two-stroke engine, then you're going to eventually end get up getting into having to tune that piece of equipment. And a lot of them take specialty tools. And HIPAA actually makes those tools. They come in a case. They give you little carb cleaning brushes in there and everything. You, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, they sell a lot of different carbs. Uh, they just sent me a carb for my 272 uh, XP, which is a blue saw, a farmer tech uh, blue thunder saw, which I've upgraded to from a 365 to a 372 big bore with a uh, big bore cylinder on it. And the carburetor was junk. I could get it tuned in and it would go back out, you know, and it would just not function right. And I replaced the carb with one of their carburetors and it's worked fine. I've used a few other carbs. One on a 55 I have, Husqvarna, works fine. The carbs are all right. I'm not having any trouble with them. Uh, they sent me, of course I deal with weed eaters, trimmers, for the new modern guys. It wasn't here in the 80s when it was a weed eater. Uh, they sent me a speed feed head and anybody that knows the speed feed heads echo makes it puts on their products and you can also buy these and put these on your steel your husqvarna these are the ultimate trimmer head these can be reloaded without you know it was so fast it's ridiculous you just stick the line through it i'm going to do a video when i put this on and show it in operation i'm not going to be doing that right now because it's been Minus 15, minus 20 here at night. You know, it's been cold. I'm not going out and playing with a weed eater in the snow. You know what I mean? So, but they sent me a speed feed head. And from what, what I can tell here, there's, it looks just like the regular speed feed head. There's no difference here. And more than likely, it's the same outfit making them for everybody anyway. Just people are putting their name on it, you know. But this is one of the best heads you can get. You can re-spool these up within 30 seconds. You carry, I always carry about 20 feet of line in my back pocket when I used to trim. And if, when I ran out of line, I just would pull the line out of my back pocket, feed it through here. And then you just rotate this and spin it up. And it just sucks the line right in and rolls it up perfectly. No knots, no screwing around, no taking the head off, you know, finagling it and fighting it. These are the ultimate way to go. So if you've got a trimmer, and even if you hate Echo, you can still put these on your steel, your Husqvarna, your Red Max. They go on anything, and they're one hell of an upgrade. 
So you know, I'll expect me to be going over this. I'll be running this on my 2620 Pro Extreme trimmer that I've had since 2015. Great trimmer, hasn't given me any issues. Uh, for you haters out there that want to claim all Echo is uh, homeowner junk, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. So, you know, that, that is a commercial product. But anyway, we'll talk about uh, some of this stuff that went on in the chainsaw shack. And the reason I closed the group to start with was Facebook and their censorship. That's what triggered me the last time. I was tired of spending all my time in Facebook jail. I used to go live in the Chainsaw Shack all the time and talk to people, answer live questions right there and interact with the members. That was great. I got to talk to people and know people and you know the live chats were growing and going good. But Facebook, because they wanted to censor me in their liberal platform bullshit, uh, shut me down, put me in Facebook jail all the time. Then when I got out of Facebook jail, they weren't letting me go live anymore. Well, we'll see in 90 days. I'm like, you know what? The next time they put me in Facebook jail, I'm leaving Facebook and I'm closing everything. It wasn't two days, two days later they got me again. You know, they don't like the truth. They don't want the truth spread around. The only truth is they, out there is their truth. You know, they've got everything centered. They're controlled. They are the dictators. So the way I see it, the only thing... It can come of that is, is, of you being on there is you know just you're just supporting their program you're supporting their platform you're not doing anything they're manipulating your emotions they've got control of everything they got all your information all your likes all your friends they know everything about you that you're on there giving all that information away so if you're on there then you're supporting them i decided to leave and close it all down they can kiss my you know what so i'm gone uh, some of the members I had, mostly I should say some of the amends I had didn't like it, you know, but they, I don't think they seemed to understand it was my group. They want to talk about all the effort they put into it and all that. Yeah, they worked in the group. They did a lot, but nobody did more than me. I paid, actually paid money out of my own pocket for advertising. I spent plenty of time posting groups and links and other groups and stuff, advertising promoting the group, trying to grow the group and get members. That's how that group grow faster than any other group did. You know, it, and, and like, I think it was six months we hit 14,000 members. You know, I mean, that, that when you first start up, it really grows rapidly. You know, we were at about 25,000 when I closed the group in a, just a couple short years. Um, but the men's didn't like it. I deactivated my account. And suddenly they went in and reactivated the group, tried to take over, especially a certain one, Alex, who thinks he was the boss or running shit, wasn't running nothing. And he was real upset, contacted me. Well, you, you need to think about this. And, and there's another one of them deals or else uh, ultimatum he gave me. And I was, I am so sick of him and his ultimatums and getting me in positions where he was bending me over and forced me into a, doing something that I don't want to do, like buying a car from him that I did not want when I wanted to buy a truck and then telling everybody what a favor he did for me when he you know, sold it to me at a discount price. You sold it to me at blue book value, bro. You know what I'm saying? You didn't help me. You didn't give me any choice. You had me in a position to screw me and sign me into a contract. Then you made, pay, made me make payments on it and the payments were so high that I had to bar lunch money off of people at work to get by for the next couple months because you wanted massive payments on the car and nothing reasonable made me sign a contract and everything. This is somebody who called himself my brother. The same type of person that called himself my brother let me sit around Christmas, Thanksgiving. I sit here alone. I don't know anybody in this state when I moved up here. Sit alone all, all the time, all the holidays. I got no family, nobody around here. Didn't hear nothing from him. They come around when he wants me to help him cut wood. You know, and then there's, a, there's that thing too, cutting wood. Help him cut all his firewood. One day I went to him, you know, after being here three years, going out every time he wants to cut wood. You know, hey, can you bring me a little wood over here so we can burn it? Or, you know, outdoor little gatherings here, a fireplace here, fire pit. You know, I didn't even want a truckload of wood or nothing. Just a little bit of wood. He couldn't do that. You know, this is my brother brother 
The only thing he cared about was selling crap in my group, selling his stickers, and then talk about, well, let's do a giveaway for free, you know, giveaway. When I started the giveaways, it was I didn't want pe people to have to buy stuff to get into it. I didn't want it to be a, uh, a drawing, a raffle, basically is what he's running, a raffle. You know, he'll buy this and I'll put your name in. I, when I started the giveaways, it was free. I, I didn't need a raffle. I looked for people who were down and out, people who were in need and didn't have something. You know, somebody that's been trying to get somewhere, working, his saw is broke, let's send him a saw. You know, hey, I need this, or this person's spirits are low, let's send him a new bar for his saw. You know, I didn't want, I'm not expecting anything in back. I didn't want to sell people stuff. But that's what he's doing, and he's doing it in his new group now, selling stickers and decals. That's all he cares about. When I closed the group, he was very upset about that, as he told me, because he couldn't sell his decals anymore. And I need to think about that, and if I close the group, he's going his own way. You go your own fucking way, buddy. You can go, and I don't need you. You think I need you, but I don't. So, kiss off. Yeah, and it's, that's all you care about. You didn't, what did you contribute? Did you post links to other groups and anywhere try to grow the group? Did you spend your money on advertising in a group so it would come up in the Facebook feeds? I paid money for that. I worked that group every day. I constantly posted content. I constantly tried to engage members to keep the group active. You didn't. You were hardly ever on the group unless there was a drawing and you want to show your face. You contributed hardly nothing compared to what you think you contributed. You handle a little bit of the shipping, but you're supposed to be making money off the decals that are supposed to cover all that. So I don't even want to hear this shit. And then when I talked about selling decals, you got all bent out of shape. Well, there's no money in it. None of why you want to get into it for it. Everything you could to keep me from doing it because you didn't want me to hurt you. You can't keep claiming you didn't make any money out of it. But man, you sure are cranking that stuff out and selling it, aren't you? You're all about the mighty dollar, bro. You're all about it. You're, you're so damn greedy and about a buck. You won't do nothing for anybody without expecting something back in return. You don't know what it's like to give to somebody and expect nothing back. There's no strings attached to anything I do. If I give somebody something, do something for somebody, I'm not going to go brag about it, talk about it. I'm not going to wait for you to pay me back or you owe me this. Remember when I did that? You do that. And I'll tell you something else. Good Lord above. He said this, man. He said it's easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to get in heaven. So take it for what it's worth. Keep chasing that buck because you're chasing the wrong treasures. You know, I believe in helping my fellow man out, helping people out that need it, people that are in need. I don't expect anything back in return for it. I gave and gave, and I don't even have very much to be truthful about it. I have very little, but I'll give it to somebody else. Because you know what? This stuff in this life doesn't matter. It's the next life. I'll be more concerned about what kills the soul than I am more concerned about what kills the body. So, you know, I could go on and on about this guy. You know, and then he's going to go and try to use the shack name, call himself the shack and all. I mean, where did you get that name at? You're, you're no different than the other hacks are, man. You're gutless, ballless wonders what you are. But anyway... That's where I'm at. That's a couple of the reasons why I closed it down. The Facebook censorship, uh, people in the group. I mean, he, there was business coming in the group, and I couldn't understand why certain outfits were cutting me. They were coming from Echo and stuff. And I'm like, he's in there interfering, you know, cutting my throat behind my back, taking, making himself out to be like the lead man in a group. You aren't. You aren't. You didn't create it. Let's see where your group goes on your own. You can't post any content or anything to help a member, any information, any technical advice, videos of anything other than selling your crap and talking about drawings. And then nobody, after you do that, nobody hears about you till the next one. They don't hear nothing from you till then. That's what you contribute. You don't contribute shit. You don't know what it takes to grow a group, but you don't have the personality to get on there to ha get anybody engaged. Or keep anybody interested so between Facebook censorship and that I'm just sick of Facebook period and all and then dealing with all the people on there that wanted to troll me 
They were upset because they came in the group. They started crap, and then they got booted out. And then they went and made up lies in the other groups why they were thrown out. A bunch of hacks, man. You're a bunch of hack losers. Nobody follows you. Nobody listens to you guys. I think that's what you're more bent out. Anybody that's up there gets any kind of attention, any kind of following, they're always going to be attacked by the ones that ain't doing nothing. That's just a fact. So I'm sorry I closed the group. And to all the people out there, you know, I understand a lot of you love the group. And I appreciate all your support. I loved all you guys. I still do. You know, but I'm going to be here on YouTube by myself doing my own thing. I don't need any more associates hanging out with me, riding my coattails or acting like they're helping me. I had enough help, you know, since I've been on there. I've had enough knives stuck in my back and enough two-faced bullshit to last me the rest of my life. So that's kind of where the shack went, kind of what happened, you know. And I'm going to be on YouTube, and I am planning on doing videos here in the future. Uh, I'm thinking about even buying that 592 when it comes out because... You know, that's the new upgraded goon. You know how I am about the 395. That is my favorite saw. I'm all about that goon saw. To coin that phrase, I coined that. The shack, the chainsaw shack, I coined that. Casino saw, I coined that phrase. I've coined all these phrases. Ain't nobody coming out with anything on their own. They're just imitators and copycats out there. But you're not a trendsetter. You don't have the personality to have that following, it takes a strong personality. That's something most of you clowns lack. You contributed nothing. You can't even hardly make a post in a group. You know, you got nobody wants to see stickers for sale all the time. If that's all you can contribute. Come on, man. I helped build the shack, put the file section together where there was all kind of stuff in there. I had people contribute to it, but it wasn't none of you. None of the amends did. They didn't contribute to the file section. Had a lot of people that contributed. You know, I had people donating to the shack too, and then they start donating it all to Alex. Dude, you don't, you don't, you're not the CEO of the shack. What are you doing, pocketing stuff? Sorry, man. You had to go. I had no problem. I've been watching you for a while, just so you know. I know you thought you were, ha you know pulled one over on me, thought I didn't pay attention, I'm stupid. Watching you for a while, when I kept talking to you about people, using people and pulling game, playing games and pulling crap, you never caught the hint, man. You thought I was talking about other people, didn't you? It's too bad, man. I don't need you. I've gotten along fine this past five months without you and the shack, and I'm going to continue doing so. So, I will make videos here in the shack. I am going to buy a truck here in the near future. I've been saving the last several months to buy me a new truck because since I've been stuck with that car, the money pit of a car at that, that I bought from him. Um, I am going to be out cutting. I'll have free time to do so. I am waiting for the weather to change. The weather's been Terrible. It's been snow everywhere. It's been freezing cold, below zero. I There's no reason for me to go out there and prove anything or be out there in these kind of conditions, man. I don't, I don't care. Even the saws don't even want to run right. I, I had to retune all the saws because saws run lean in the colder weather. Uh, if you got an auto tune, then it'll tune itself or an M-Tronic. They'll tune itself. You'll be okay. But if you got one that has a carburetor on it, you're going to be tuning on it. You're going to have to richen that salt because it's going to run lean. Cold air is more dense. Therefore, you're stuffing more, more air into the cylinder on that compression stroke. And that leans out the fuel mixture and causes a lean condition, which you need to add fuel to. And then when it comes warmer out again, you got to retune again. I have no reason to retune my saws just for that little, little bit and then have to detune it later. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm not going to do it. It's just, I'll just wait. Till better weather comes, I have uh, saws that have been upgraded. I need to run Mod saws that are modded. Uh, I want to run some more of my ported saws. I have my 372 that I've modded. I want to run it some more. I have the uh, G888 
that uh, I got from Farmer Tech, which has an unlimited coil now. I got a few other mods. I've got some, I'm set up for porting now. Most of you guys didn't know that. I've been setting myself up with all that stuff. I mean, I haven't done it in years. I used to port motorcycles, dirt bikes when I raced in the 80s. So I'm going to be doing it again. A lot of you didn't think, think I can't do anything. You don't you keep insulting me and trying to tell people what I'm capable of and what I'm not capable of and tell people about my background. Well, you don't know a damn thing about me or my background or what skill levels I possess. You assuming and trying to turn people against me, good luck to you, man. It just shows you what a coward you really are. You know, what a hater you really are. So I'm setting myself up to do all that stuff. I'm not going to get crazy. I'm not going to port stuff for other people. I'm just concerned about doing it for myself. Of course, I do do some work here. I do work on some saws. I sharpen chains for people. I sharpen a lot of chains for people. Uh, I have people bring me saws in with different issues. Everything from home lights to pull-ins to Husqvarna's, you name it. They come in here. I work on them. I do have a shop and uh, that's how it's going to go, you know, so yeah, I will be back to the saw thing, so don't get, don't get disgusted or give up yet on me, I'm not done, man, and for those seeing all these knife videos and sharpening videos and flashlight videos, I did those way before I changed myself over to the chainsaw shack, my first knife videos were back in 2020, let's see, 2012, on this channel. I was a knife reviewer, tabletop reviewer before I was anything. And I'm still going to uh, contribute to that crowd. Those people still follow me too. So, uh, you know, look at it as a guy channel. This is a, the guy thing. And what guy that runs chainsaws isn't going to like to look at a Bowie knife? If you don't, then you probably carry a purse. You know, you shouldn't be on my channel, Karen. That's the way I feel about it. You know, and these flashlights, you'd be like, what's that have to do with it? Have you worked on a saw before? Don't you ever catch yourself having to look down into something with a flashlight? You're looking at a cylinder with a flashlight or trying to see something and you pull out a light. Those out there that are techs might be interested in having a good light instead of buying your cheap Walmart or Lowe's or whatever. You're buying Home Depot special that ain't worth a crap. You know, I'm trying to set you up with a quality products that I believe in and I think are good as always so you know check that out you know i'll be posting things that i feel are related guy things that you guys may like if you don't like it scroll past the video you don't have to watch it uh unsub me i'm not my feelings ain't going to be hurt i gain subs every day i'm not going to miss one or two or whatever 10 of you 20 of you that want to split don't let the door hit you in the ass man i'm not going to chase you i won't even notice to be honest with you you know, I can't notice a couple that leave that there's so many more coming in. So, I'm going to take care of you. Well, let's see here. Do I want to add anything else? I think probably covers most of it. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go. And hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. I appreciate the ones that have stuck it around and have stuck it out have you know offer their support i appreciate you man i love you guys man i respect you thank you and the ones that can't handle it you know where to go man and uh just just go away don't go away mad just go away right so hey you guys have a good night uh look for me in the future i am going to be like i said i'll be taking care of you guys so Brody out. Oh, and one thing I will add, yeah, I will do the giveaways again. Something I originally started in the shack. So if you're in the United States and possibly even Canada, I may do, I don't know what shipping's going to be like across the border right now, but I'll check into it. But uh, I will do some giveaways. And it'll be for people that are channel subscribers only, and we will be verifying that before we send anything out. And I will help somebody that is in need, that needs something, and isn't going to be buy this from me to get in the drawing. You ain't going to buy anything from me. You don't have to buy nothing. You don't have to buy your way in here to get anything. All right? 
All right, Brody gone. Take care, Shackers. I'm out. Have a good evening.